This is a very short uh, tutorial which is going to just look at um, image positioning and image properties. Um, with regards to image positioning, it's simply a case of, of with this tutorial we're going to have a look at how we can actually float images one on top of the other if we need to. Up until now, if you want to place an image, you can place it left, center or right. You, you know, you're fairly uh, limited to the amount of positions you can place on it. But when you're using um, a relative image, you can actually place it anywhere you want on the screen. In fact, you can float it over, over uh, content or you can float content over it. OK, and we'll have a look at all of that. So in this case here, what I'm going to do is place an image on my screen and place another image over it. So you can see how you can you can float one thing over another thing. This is the first time we're going to be using what are known as layers, which can be used later on when we're dealing with uh, pop up menus or behavior, etc. So it's a very useful technique that can be applied throughout the, the rest of the course as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we just jump over to um, expression and we'll see how straightforward this is. Um, so I'm using the same example we've been dealing with so far um, and I'm going to float one image over another image. So what we do is we first of all add a couple of images. So the, the two images I'm going to add in this case here are going to be, um, there's a cat. And there's a hat. It's going to be this one here. So I'm going to add both of the images at the one time. I'm not going to worry about these, even though I did say in previous tutorials about how important it is. But I'm not going to add them just for this example here. So I've got my two images in here. Okay. At this point in time, both of these images uh, are centered, as you can see here. So I can bring one to the left and then the other one to the left if I want to or to the right. But I just have the all I can do with them is left, center, and right. Okay, so I'm going to put them back in here um, and worry about this in, in a minute. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another toolbar up on top. Okay, at the moment I have the image toolbar here and I have my two default toolbars up there on top. So I'm going to right click anywhere up here on my toolbars. It'll show me my different options for my toolbars. I said I have my images toolbar here, my picture toolbar. The toolbar I'm going to add is going to be positioning, and that's what I'm going to focus on for some of the rest of this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the image here and you can see uh, the width and the height. And, and there's very little with regards to um, this particular image else besides that. So what I'm going to do is just click on the position property here and I'm going to say relative. OK. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the hat. I'm going to just click on that and going to go relative. Now, what this means is that I can, in either case, I can grab the image by the side of my image and move it. So if I want to, I can move this image over something like that. OK. Um, or I can just move my image anywhere I want to as well. OK. So I'm going to put them back here, the cat in the hat here like this. Now, what you'll notice is like in PowerPoint, um, the last image I've added goes on top. OK, so at this point in time, if I just save this and preview it, you'll notice that my. My actual cat is on top of my hat, so to speak. OK, so I'm going to just jump back and show you how to fix that. Okay, So in this case here, what I have is my cat is in front of my hat where I want the hat to be in front of the cat, so to speak. So what I need to do here is you see that now because we've made them relative, you can see that they have left, top, right, bottom positioning. These are all the positioning of it. So these are the X and the Y positions. OK, now we're going to have a look at the Z position. The Z position is the actual uh, distance, uh, the 3D position from the screen. OK, so what I'm going to do with the hat is make my Z position. I'm going to bring it forward like we would in PowerPoint um, I'm going to bring it forward to a plus number such as one. I'm going to bring my cat to a minus number such as minus one. So that means that my plus one is in front of my minus one. So when I click on this, and more importantly, when I preview it in the browser, my hat should be in front of my cat, okay, which it, it is, okay. Now I still need to just slightly move it to the left hand side or play around with it like
and save it in preview. So yeah, my hat is where I want it to be. So that's my floating image. There's nothing too difficult about that. While I'm at this, something that I need to look at as well is I just want to click on my bring your own device image that I put in earlier on or in a previous tutorial. And I just want to have a look at while I'm on my toolbars up here, I'm going to have a look at my uh, at what my toolbar up here, my my picture toolbar will add to it. OK, what it allows me to do is a lot of these are available through other uh, through other means, but you know, it brings them all together into one place. So what I'm going to have a look at here is insert an image. Okay. Auto thumbnail an image, bring the image forward, send it back, rotate it, uh, left, rotate it, right, flip it horizontally. Okay. Flip it vertically if needs be contrasting here, brighten them, crop the image. And the uh, next one here is set a transparent color, set a transparent color in this case here, Will allow me to make one color in my image transparent now it looks like this is all blue but there's several different colors of blue so if i was to click on one of these blues here you'll see here and more than likely this won't work very well for me and it doesn't okay you can see there's several different ones there but if you're dealing with a gif it'll work fairly well so i'm just going to undo that there for a second okay um you can put a bevel edge around it you can resample it and then what we have here all these ones here are going to be used for image maps, which is, uh, I think, um, tutorial 10 that we're going to do later on. OK, so there are my properties and I can change them and, and uh, play around with them there. 